when love has a chance to be in the womb, there is a place of reception so that love truly is known. If we don't create a space where love can be received by ourselves from, from the source of our life or from other people, but initially from the source of life, we need a space where that is held so we know it intimately and then allow our own radiant expression of that love into our world to be known by the people that we, we are with. It extends an invitation, it extends a blessing, it extends um, a, a solid place for whatever cycles moving in the hearts of the people that we're serving with, that we're loving, that we're living with. And when something is um, conceived in that space, just like when it happens in a human womb, it's an, an initiation. Once, once it enters, it's not already complete. It's an initiation. That ovum, that um, egg and sperm create that ovum, it becomes a gamete. It has to implant and grow and get connected and then have the umbilical cord so that the baby can thrive. I think there's a statistic that 30% of um, pregnancies miscarry. A lot of women um, suffer through that thinking something's wrong with them, when in fact, just the environment wasn't quite whole enough, wasn't sacred enough. And it does, that's also not a flaw of the woman. It's just like, there are certain things that are required for life to be known. Conception in the womb space, we get to hold that and go through the cycles to allow the things to, to move into the world because we're holding a space for love to be known in the human soul. And some cycles are shorter than others. So for example, a miscarriage doesn't mean necessarily failure. It just means that cycle completed. So another one can start if, if needed, whatever that is. It's not all about the birth of the child. It is about the process of holding a space for whatever needs to come. There's a song my mother used to sing because it's from the 1940s, but I've known it, sung it most of my life and it's, the words are, with a song in my heart, I behold your adorable face. Just a song at the start, but it soon is a hymn to your grace. That's a cycle. Like first you see, have a song in your heart. Love comes into this womb space. And at the start, it's just because it's an adorable beginning cycle, but it soon becomes a hymn to your grace. Now the song is about falling in love. But the, the fact is, in a cycle, we start to see that the cycle that's manifesting in the soul gets to be a living hymn to what was initiated. So a womb is a place of welcome, a place of openness, a place of magic, and a place, play, place of blessing. W-O-M-B, womb. <laughs> I, I think we have many experiences, womb-like experiences that aren't just about a woman's uterus. I've never had the privilege of having a child, but I can tell you I've held many a cycle from initiation to um, delivery and to maturity after it was delivered. And I'm sure that's true of every man and woman on this screen. It's not just about the birth of a child. Just think of a garden. Think of a process, think of a business, think of a friendship, think of a community, a place where something grew because people involved knew how to keep things sacred, knew how to make, contain what was happening in a blessed environment. So the experience of receiving this love into that womb-like space allows us to birth something in the glory that the human soul knows, a hymn to the grace and the privilege of being alive. <laughs>